are back with Biology of the Soul, Miriam and Melissa. Hey, Wherever. Are we live? I think so. I think you froze for a second, so then I lost you. Oh, you're live. I see it on your page. Yeah, I'm going to share it to I my think we're page. good. I think we got it. Okay. <laughs> All right, it's awesome. Hello, hello. Always fun. Wherever you guys are tuning in from, say hi. We love to connect with you. If you're new and you're like, what, what is this? We love to talk about the interconnection between mind, body, and soul and how those three things come together. And when we can tap into that, we are empowered in our lives, in our goals, with our work, with our businesses, with our families, and even in our relationships as well. And we have a masterclass coming up. So we're going to talk a little bit today give you guys a little bit of a sneak peek on what to expect for Friday yeah <clears throat> and it's um, exactly that's what the whole mind uh, biology of the soul is all about is connecting the mind body and your soul knowing that you need all every bit about you to you know do what it is that, that you want to do in my life I experienced times where I was like okay I'm really gonna work body and then there was times like okay I'm going to work on my mindset and then you know there are other times like I honestly ignored my soul and my spirit for so long because being raised in an abusive Christian home was right. you know made it a struggle for me yeah uh, and I would constantly find myself like okay like I think I'm doing better I'm finally seeing success you know like I might lose weight or you know I might accomplish a goal but then it would all kind of fall apart because it was only one little thing at a time and I wasn't really looking at the whole picture yeah who I am and what makes me me and until you know I connected the mind body and soul and really you know seeing myself as a full person and understanding that like one thing is connected to another thing connected to another thing and until you really make all those connections could be really difficult to yeah. accomplish the things that you want in life like losing weight starting a business whatever you know whatever mm -hmm. it may be um and so that's why i love you know what we do here with biology of the soul and then yeah. you know this master class that we're going to be running on friday which i'm very excited about ah, fueling your freedom is all about beginning begin making that begin what, what do you need to do or you know what what have we done in order to switch gears in our life. So I know for me, I was a very stressed, um, tired, exhausted teacher, um, very low salary, um, yeah. and just struggling each day. I, w I was a positive person and I would always say, oh, it'll get better to get better. And next week it'll be better. Next week it'll be better. Next week it'll be better. Just as long as things calm down, things will calm down soon. Once I handle this problem, everything will be easy peasy. And it's like that never came. And I was constantly never in this cycle of it'll be better next week. 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 And I was never really able to accomplish, you know, feeling better. Um, until I made the connection of mind, body, and soul and looked at myself as a full entire human being instead of trying to isolate one little thing as if that one thing, you know, was, was the problem. Yeah. Um, yeah. You know, more yeah. big picture. But anyway, the, you know, now I'm living a life of, you know, freedom, financial abundance. I'm able to travel, go where I want. Um, I recently just booked an Airbnb for six weeks on a lake so that I can just... Yeah have an amazing time yeah and you know that's what we want to be talking about with you know this master class is how do you switch gears from being stuck from you know being stressed from being overwhelmed to I'm able to do what I want with my time that I own my time I own my freedom and, and I get to choose what it is that I want to do with that you know when I left the corporate environment it would well it, first of all it was scary to you know, want to leave the corporate environment because we are so programmed and conditioned that, you know, this, you have to have a job, you have to have security, you have to have a paycheck, you have to have these things in place or else the world will fall apart. And, and we're made to believe that and may, you know, conditioned into that. And, in, and when we begin to question that, you know, we can see things for, you know, for what they are. And all it was, uh, you know, like corporate can only value they're only going to pay me what they value me as not what I'm truly valued at. And they're going to want me to do their things their way instead of, you know, what I feel is best for myself. And so when I was working at the corporate company and I felt like such a big longing that I can do this differently, I can do this better. I can do this for more people than just these clients. And it took getting 
getting in tune with my mind, body, and spirit to be able to say, yes, I am leaving corporate. Yes, I'm going to start my own business. Yes, it's going to be successful. And yes, I will make this happen. And here I am today, and it's and it's fantastic. I have five-figure months with my sales, um, more and more clients, more and more subscribers on my YouTube, and it's all just growing and flourishing once I got into an alignment and started trusting with my mind, body, and soul. And so those are that's, that's what we want to be talking about with uh, yeah. the master class on Friday. Yeah. I love that. And there are, I feel like there are some specific like tools and strategies that we'll, we'll dig into more on Friday uh, that are what you did and what, you know, I've done as well. And what I've learned over the years, um, you know, and I think for some people, we don't necessarily, we're not born knowing necessarily what our passion is, what our purpose is. So sometimes it's a a little bit of a journey. So if you have someone there who can kind of walk alongside and say, hey, you know, maybe take a closer look at this, maybe think about this, maybe really, okay, bring into consideration the mind, the body, the spirit, all, you know, all of our whole person because we were created for a purpose each person is unique and amazing and incredible and when you take into consideration your gifts your abilities are you really in a place where you are able to use to full capacity all of your abilities and gifts or is there some area where you're kind of either holding yourself back or being constrained or held back by some circumstances situations those kinds of things that's a really good question to think about. If you feel like there's somewhere where you're just not quite fully tapping into your potential, then that's something to think about and to start to kind of like imagine and dream. And maybe you might be able to step into doing something different. Maybe it's an expansion of what you're already doing, or maybe it's a different direction. You never know. And for me, that was a a totally insane journey. And I kind of talked about it a little bit last week. And I didn't know. I didn't know what I wanted to to be. I I thought I did. I thought I, I had all these plans and I had all these things and I thought I knew. And nope, it was something completely different. And last week we talked a lot about how um, oftentimes the things that we feel like are weaknesses or flaws or failures are often where the power is, where, where our secret sauce is, so to speak, because that's the area that we can connect much more deeply to other people. So mm-hmm. when I finally realized that one of the – the biggest things that I can connect to people with is I understand how it feels to have anxiety and depression, to struggle because of ADHD and um, dyslexia and all different kinds. I know what it feels like to struggle with autoimmune conditions and things like that. So many things. Because of that, I'm able to come alongside my clients with a really big heart of compassion and understanding. But I also have all of the medical knowledge and experience with the the scientific you know aspect in the biology to empower them and say, okay, this is where we're at, and it's hard, and I understand yeah. that. But we're going to move forward in a healthy direction, whether that's mentally, physically, and emotionally. That's one of my absolute favorite things is that so many people are struggling with their health or their the mental, emotional piece or mm-hmm. not being able to achieve their goals in their life. And one of the, there's like a couple of things that often hold people back, but one of them is the fact that they're not bringing together the all the pieces there's a there's something missing like you said we often tend to focus on just the physical health just the mental health just the emotional and spiritual health we have we were made to uh function in harmony with all of those things together that is where our full potential and purpose is is when we bring those pieces together so that's what i do with a lot of my clients i've learned to do that for myself not perfect by any means i mess up every day today i messed up so many things you don't even want to know but we learn from that instead of yeah. feeling like i'm a complete failure i give up i'm done blah 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 we we realize okay what can i learn from this how can i move forward in yeah, a better and, way yeah i think the magic is in the mess you know like think about like 
we went to a construction site. I think I've talked about this before, but yeah. we went to a construction site where they're building new homes and it is, it looks like a mess. There's stuff everywhere. The, everything is just crazy, trash, seemingly trash, all these things. But you know, like that's just part of what it takes in order to, you know, build the home or you look like, you know, you know, look at a sculptor or a painter. They have materials and supplies everywhere. You know, it can look really messy. But then, you know, you have your finished piece of artwork. Like there's always a mess before there's the magic and the magic is the mess. And it's embracing that and knowing that, you know, honestly, I've taken on the idea that I can't mess up. I am a, a divine <laughs> human being here on earth and, and I cannot mess up. And, and anything that happens to me, good or bad, is ultimately all working out in my favor anyway. And when I think, when I look back and think of all the times in my life where I was like, oh my God, this is the end. This is awful. This is, this is, I, I'm destroyed. I'm ruined. There's no coming back from this. Like, oh my gosh, like every time I've gotten out of that or whatever, I walked away fine and, and I'm living my best life right now. And yeah. it, in, in it's, it, it's cool. I, I saw this um, meme the other day, you know, talking about the thing is Deepak, Deepak Chopra or whatever his, how are you? <laughs> I'm so bad at saying Nate. But he said, he said, we're always so worried that we're going to make the wrong decision as if one decision is good and one, and then we'll be punished if we make the bad one. But ultimately any decision that we make, God, source, universe is going to co-inspire with that and help us move forward with that. It's when we ourselves you know, believe that we've messed up or done something bad that we end up seeing bad or messed up things, you know, but when we say, okay, whatever this, you know, whatever it is I'm going through right now, this is just part of the process. It's part of the journey. I accept it. I embrace it, you know, and I'm, and I'm going to go along with the ride. And it, it, for me, it's, it's worked out every time. Um, so that's like the mindset that I, I like to harness or like Eckhart Tolle, he says, there's three way, there's three ways, modalities to function in acceptance, um, a, a appreciation and excitement. So you either accept, yeah. you know, what's, what's happening. Uh, oh, is it, I forget the three a acceptance. Yeah. I don't know, but, but I accept everything not to say that, you know, I, you know, so, you know, if someone mistreats me, I'm like, Oh, I accept that. And you can continue to mistreat me. No, I say, Oh, I accept that you're in a place where you can only mistreat me right now. Um, and I will not be able to continue a relationship with you or, or talking with you. So I'm going to let you go, but I don't fight against it in a way of like, this shouldn't happen. And this is awful and all these things or whatever. I just accept it. The, the person can only meet me with where they're at. That's cool. I accept it and I move on. Or like with my corporate job that I had, I accept that they can't pay me anymore. And okay, if that's all that they could do, I will go somewhere else and I will do, you know, what I want. So, um, you know, it's, it's just, it's a, so much of the mindset and the beliefs and the programs that we have that will take away from, you know, what it is that we want and we, we desire. And so when you get in alignment with mind, body, and soul, and you can see who you are away from those programming and conditioning, and then you can tap back into that. It's, it's just, it allows you to create your life in such a beautiful way, which is what I've done. And so I'm super excited to begin talking about this with people and sharing with people, what are the steps that you can take to fuel your freedom? What are the steps that you can take? Like for me, years and years, I felt I'm supposed to be talking. I'm supposed to be a speaker. I'm supposed to be writing books. I'm supposed to be doing these things. And I felt that that's my calling and that's my purpose. But but it was so difficult to take any action steps towards that or to see that it was actually going to come to fruition because I had all these beliefs and programs that you're not allowed to want that. You, you know, you, you're not allowed to seek attention. You're not, you know, you're, you're not supposed to be the center of attention or, or things like that. And I had all these beliefs that I couldn't be who I wanted to be. And when I got rid of those beliefs and I just became who it was that I wanted to be, everything, everything has been flowing exactly the way that it just works out magically for me. Yeah, that's amazing. And I think there's something really important there that when, when we think about the direction that we're going, um, not to, I don't know how to like say it, not to be too swayed by the voices from our past, by the mess you said messages, but you know, voices, messages, um, the, the things that people have, have told us ever since, you know, we were, we were little. Um, there's, there's a time and a place for wise words and, and you can take that in consideration, but we also have to really think about is, is this the direction that 
I was made to go? Is this this yeah. where my full potential is? Um, and sometimes it's not. And it, like I had the, a similar um, kind of struggle with, you know, a lot of, you know, messages from from people in life from childhood on you know you, sh you should work a traditional job you should have a stable job and then when you have children you should be home you know home with your children which is you know it is a job but you know and all of these different things and um eventually i realized like for me and this you know not everyone is the same some people love their nine to five job and that is their passion and they do feel like they're fulfilling their full potential and that's great i have nothing against that what i'm saying is not everyone is the same and so for yeah. me you know having a, a traditional role in healthcare like i did for a long time for gosh almost 12 years i realized like there was just something missing missing there were many things that i loved i love my patients and my clients i love serving i you know so many different things but i just started realizing <clears throat> i had a deeper like passion almost like like a, a burning fire that i could not put out that there's so much more I have to give my patients mm -hmm. and my clients than what is able to be given in a, in a traditional cookie cutter healthcare scenario. Yeah. And I started like, well, how am I going to do that? Well, you know, what about having a stable income and all these, you know, all, all these questions come into mind. So I encourage you guys, whenever you're catching this and you're watching, I encourage you when you're looking at the direction you're going, whether you're you're focusing on your, your life goals with like your career or your family or relationships, whatever area, your health, whatever area you are working on, first put your goal in mind, you know, because you do want to keep your, what direction you are feel most passionate to go in, right? And then also, if you feel there's some sort of resistance going on, dig into that and question that resistance that you're feeling and try to figure out where is that coming from? Because nine out of 10 times, it's coming from a voice or a message that's been playing in the back of our mind since early, very, very young. I mean, for me, it was like probably five years old, you know, uh, maybe even before. And um, that's telling, that's sort of, holding you back from going from fully 100% going that direction and you have to question that and oftentimes what I say instead of writing down the the message that's holding you back try to think of something that's the opposite of that message that's been holding you back try to write down and there's something about writing things down that just has more potency <laughs> and power to it um we know bless you bless Thank you, you. <laughs> um we know that words are powerful, obviously, but, um, you know, words, I feel like written is even more um, powerful. Of course, speaking is also powerful. So so write down the opposite and then begin to put those things. And sometimes there's more than one message that's been kind of um, playing that's it's really not aligned with, with who you are and what your purpose is. And rewrite that. Start rewriting the messages and put them around in places that will remind you of your true purpose, your value, yeah. your um, your passion, your purpose, and where you want to go, who you want to be. Because oftentimes the people that accomplish literally incredible things, they're not focused on who am I right now and I need to fix myself or something like that. They're focused on who am I? I am going to be that, whatever you know, their, their passion, their dream, their vision, their purpose looks like they're like i am that and that's where i'm going and there's no question there's no doubt that is where i'm going that is who i am so as soon as you start doing that and you are so focused on being that that fulfilling your potential then there's not much that can really hold you back because be you begin to realize that you're running towards who you truly were made to be and Sorry, the you're light going to, I'm sorry, <laughs> I didn't even <laughs> so the light is, anyways, and no. you're going to start not, the things that were holding you back before, you're going to start being like, oh yeah, no, that's not important, that's not important, you're, they're not going to phase you as much, they're going to sort of roll off because yeah. you're so focused and propelled toward that future, so yeah. Yeah, yeah, I mean there are things that I've experienced, you know, with starting this business that in the past would have crippled me and you know emotionally mentally whatever 
and now it's like those things happen. I'm like, oh, okay, not nearly as bad as I thought it was. You know, <laughs> it's just like, oh, whatever. Because mm-hmm. again, I'm always operating in that belief system that everything is, you know, working out for me. So when I have, you know, a struggle, I'm like, this struggle is meant to be here. This struggle is teaching me something. This struggle is making me stronger. You know, like we, we think, you know, sometimes we, we kind of confuse God and, and, you know, source, whatever it is that you believe in is fine with me. But like, we think, oh, God wants us to be happy and these things, but I have these struggles. So I must be doing, you know, something wrong. But how do you build weights at the gym? You know, like, how do you build muscle? You have to tear your muscle. You have to do hard labor and tear your muscles so that it can, you know, build Rebel. bigger, mm-hmm. you know, anything, you, you know, we want to develop something. We've got to tear something apart to be able to develop something like right. it, it, it's part of the journey. And when we, when we stop thinking that every bad or negative or struggle means that we're on the wrong path, when we start embracing every struggle, acceptance, like I, I talk about Eckhart Tolle, accepting the struggle, accepting these things that we think are bad they immediately begin to flip and then we can see how how beautifully aligned they are for our life like even myself i can go as far back as you know i was placed in an abusive boarding school i was sent away from my family i had to live there for two years and it was very traumatic lots of abuse but at the same time it's what prepared me to handle adopting my daughter who lived in group homes and was rejected by her family and like all the things you know and it was like gosh if if I would have stayed in that pain and that trauma of what I experienced and didn't see the beauty of what it taught me to be prepared to be her mother, you know, like I would still be sad, you know, like I, I literally, and, and, you know, some people can be upset about this because there's traumatic things that happen to people. And I sit here and say to me, everything that's traumatic that happens to me has been beautiful because of what it has led to, because what it leads to. And there are a lot of people who just really can't stand that mindset because I, I shouldn't have to be suffering. I shouldn't have to, you're right. And, and you shouldn't have to be attacked by other people. You should, you know, we shouldn't have rape. We shouldn't have these things, but, at, but we can either say these negative, horrible, awful things happen to me. And now my life is shitty because of it. Or we can say these things happen to me and here's what I learned and here's how I'm going to help people. And here's how I'm going to, you know, go forward with it. That's what I choose to do. And that's how I, I live yeah. my life. So, and then when I think of every traumatic thing as being beautiful, I'm able to kiss the wounds that happened to me during that, that time. Um, and yeah. I would never wish what I went through, you know, on anyone else, um, by any means. And, and if, and if, you know, I could have gone through something more pleasant, mm-hmm. <laughs> sure, I was end up, but it <coughs> happened, right? It happened. So we just have to accept what happened and, and gain from it instead of diminish or start diminishing ourselves from it. Yeah. And, you know, I think healing is hard. And that's the thing that we kind of underestimate or maybe misconstrue that the when we go through the healing, it's it's difficult and, and hard. In, in this life, in this world, there is good and bad. There is good and evil. There are always going to be hard things. And anybody that you talk to that's gone through anything <laughs> is going to tell you life always has some sort of difficulty. Everyone's life. Even the people that seem like they never have any problems, there's something. Yeah. There's something. Whether it's emotional, mental, whatever. So it, there's always things because that's life and like you said we can either <clears throat> let the evil win and be like oh i'm all these all these bad and let it turn us into something bitter and ugly and angry or whatever <clears throat> or we can say all right this is life life has these difficulties and challenges and allow that pressure and difficulty i like how you use, you use like a, a the analogy of a muscle we're like diamonds. Diamonds are created under extreme pressure. Oh my gosh. Heat yeah. and pressure. Or, you know, and when you do sculptures. Stronger than a diamond. Right. When you do, you know, when you make a sculpture, when you do silver and gold, um, you know, creating those things, they have to be an, under extreme heat to be created into something incredible and beautiful. Is it fun? No, it's hard. It's painful. It's difficult. But through that process, you can become stronger. And one of my favorite things ever, I was reading a book. um, Read the book. It's not supposed to be this way. If you're struggling to deal and cope through difficult things in in a healthier way, it's such a good book. It's not supposed to be this way by Lisa. I can't say her last name. Turkhurst. She was sharing about how potters, when potters are making a new vessel, 
in order to make that vessel stronger and able to withstand um, more pressure and things, they have to crush up the previous broken one, use some of the crushed pieces into the new piece to reinforce it and make it stronger. And then it goes back into the fire and the kennel. Anyone else feel like they've been in the fire and the kennel like a hundred times? <laughs> Refiner's fire. Every day. Okay. So <laughs> just remind yourself of that. These things can have the ability to make you stronger, or if you allow them to defeat you, they can defeat you. Or you can find a way to allow them to make you stronger. I will never say that that's easy. And we, you know, we love talking about these things and, and how we can bring together the mental, physical, and emotional, spiritual elements that will allow us to move forward in healthier ways and be empowered towards our, our purpose. Um, but we're not saying this is a replacement for counseling. If, you, if, you, if you're working through some things, please find a good counselor, therapist, you know, RTT therapy, you know, the, you, we need support sometimes. And that's the second th thing that I find with so many clients that is often holding them back from achieving their goals is we have all these great goals and things and we're like, we got these things to be healthy or we, we got the gym membership or whatever it was for your goals. But if you don't have the right type of support along the way of that journey through that process, oftentimes it can be much harder to achieve that goal. Whether it's a a good friend, you know, with, with an understanding ear and um, compassion and encouragement or counseling or whatever that looks like, everyone's going to be a little bit different. We oft, we're not, I, I don't believe we're designed to just do everything alone. You know, we certainly have the capacity to do many things um, on our own. We don't have to be codependent on others, but there's many times in life where support is needed. So don't be afraid to look for that support. Um, of course, we're here for you. If you know us, reach out. We'll, we'll do our best to support you and encourage you wherever you're at. And in the meantime, we're going to have so much fun on this masterclass on Friday. I can't wait. And we will dig more into some of the specific strategies and tools that you can use. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I want it to be, you know, it's not going to be just like a foo-foo thing like, oh, life was this and now it's wonderful. You know, I want to be like legitimately, here's what I did here's to the make the shifts <laughs> yeah. or going from, you know, struggling stressed out every day to excited and loving my life every day yeah yeah absolutely and um so you're going to walk away with some actual tools and strategies that you can use we don't promise a magical wand though okay it takes work we have to work on healing we have to you know work towards the goals and things but um once you tap into your potential your purpose your passion and you learn to implement some of these little simple changes and shifts in your everyday life you can see some really big changes and um it will help propel you towards those goals so yeah absolutely awesome okay well we'll let you guys go and we'll see you friday night i can't wait yeah you can cozy yeah. up um we have it 5 30 pacific time 8 30 eastern time and if you didn't save your spot yet please save me here so we can get you that you can save your spot um i ended up extending the half off special offer for just a little bit because i had some technical glitches so those of you who want to grab a half off for the next day or so do that now and then uh we'll go from there so we will see you guys soon Bye, love y'all. Take care.